Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wookie Sasquatch channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Star Wars Black Series Wicket the Ewok, Wicket W. Warwick. They just call him Wicket on here, but it's supposed to look like the uh, original Star Wars Kenner card, but it's a six inch line. Of course, he's not six inch, but he's to scale with the six inch. He does come with some extra accessories to make up for his smallness. First thing I noticed right off, you can look at the picture next to him, his face just is not white enough. He needs some more white fur on the face. It makes it hard for his eyes to pop. They kind of did it just enough, but it really makes his nose and mouth and eyes pop more when he has that white fur. And his nose and mouth should be a little bit more pink also. I don't know why they didn't do that a little bit more. The rest of it looks about right. He does have a little white on his stomach. And it's got a little white on his stomach. That's, that looks about right. But his face has got a lot more white. Or gray or whatever color you want to call it. But, um, lighter color. Let's just say it that way. And uh, other than that, it looks pretty good. I like the the scale, the, the way his... Uh, legs and arms look they look a little bit more accurate than before on some of these figures they've done where the his arms look a little longer in proportion which uh work davis has he has kind of longer arms because he's got the dwarf thing going on so um so i think they got that down but um Anyway, there's the there he is on the card. We'll look at the back real quick. And these don't have numbers like the vintage collection, but that's the ones they have for the Return of the Jedi Wave. So all these have been released before except for Wicket. And they're also supposed to be putting out Paplu. I hadn't on the card. Uh, they did him in that multi pack, but I hadn't they don't have him on the card on on the back of the card here so i don't know when he comes out or if he's exclusive or what i'll have to look into that but um i want to get him i got tebow well, that gives three ewoks so that's that's not too bad that's a good little start good representation of the ewoks in the black series line so let's go ahead and open this guy up and I did buy him to open. I don't have any Black Series that I haven't opened because the boxes display from the side with the art montage and everything. So I do keep the boxes so I can build my little montage and everything, but you don't really, if you line them up on the shelves um, for that montage, it uh, you don't really get to see the figures anyway. And I'd, I'd rather have them open so I can display them however I want to display them. So. Alright, so he looks pretty articulated for a little guy. His feet are... It almost looks like his feet are sandals. I don't know if I like that, but... They're doing that with a lot of these near ones. Where the peg's on the front, so... Almost looks like it's detached completely. But as long as it stands and it looks good and it don't break off, I'm all right with it. It's kind of weird. But <clears throat> all right, so he got articulated arm joints, shoulder joints, elbow joints. He got articulated wrists that turn. And, yeah, they do have a little bit of a hinge in there, too. But it, it's kind of lost on it because the way his fur goes around it, you can't really bend them. So that's kind of like a joint that's not necessarily needed. It's kind of weird. Huh. You can see it there, though, if you look real closely. There's a joint in there. Just can't actually use it much. I guess you can kind of go back with it a little bit, but not a whole lot. 
All right, so and this is what I was talking about. If you notice the legs, they go out. I don't know. He just looks more like Wicket did in the, especially in the Ewok movies. <clears throat> but Warwick Davis has sort of a unique build. The one that plays Willow that also played Wicket the Ewok. And uh, it really captures that build that he has with the length of the arms and the shortness of the legs and all that. So I think they did a good job with it. Oh, he also bends with the, uh, right here, he has a, one of those kind of torsos there where you can bend him. He don't have a lot of bend there because he's kind of short and stubby, but he does have a little bit. Let's take his hood off. We'll look at his face there. And he's got a different type of head deal going on here. I don't know if you can see that, but he's got the ball joint up in there. But he's also got this going on. And okay, that's not actually anything at a joint or anything. It's just un undercut there so that his face won't. It can go more snug to his chest. So it's not necessarily an extra. I thought it might be an extra joint type deal. But it's just undercut around so he can actually move his head. That's pretty good. So he can actually look up. And look down a little bit. And with that ball joint, it's also got a hinge. So he can kind of go pull his chin in. Or he can kind of jut it out. That's pretty cool. And his ears stick up kind of higher, more like a little baby bunny rabbit than a bear, which makes it go through that hood and look more like he should. So I like that. A lot of times the ears are kind of nubby looking. I think it's a good likeness. I just wish the face had been lighter colored like he was in the movie so that it would, uh, Make his eyes, nose, and everything pop a little more. So, I always try to keep one of these original without messing with it. But I may get a second one of these and uh, do a little paint job on it. See if I can make, can't make him look a little better. So, if I do that, I'll do a video on it. But let's see if I can get another one first. But um, just to see how much more his eyes pop and everything. If we did some, maybe some dry brush, light color there. All right, let's try his weapons out. Um, we got his spear like he came with originally. So this looks like the one he had in, in the original series. Kenner. Original Kenner figure. Like he has on the card there. He has this uh, bow and arrow. And he has a little hole there for the arrow to go in. He can't get a lot of flex on that bow, though, because it's so short. That's as far as he can flex it. So that arrow is not going to go very far. <laughs> Technically, that arrow should be about 50% longer. That's as far as it extends past the bow. Probably should come out about there to be able to get enough flex on the bow to make it actually go somewhere. If you, Not that it's actually going to work, but, I mean, just in re reality, it should be a little longer of an arrow. Um, I guess you can make it look like it's stretched a little bit. It ain't gonna stay though. But, um, probably look better just to let it ride in there like that. And he's got this club. You can beat some over the head with. And he's got this little, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a torch that's unlit or like a thing to beat on the drum with or what but he has that and he has his long staff like he originally had in the Kenner line so let's see what it looks like with some of these other things you know, like you can club somebody over the head or he can look like he's 
about to go play the drums or something, I guess. Use both of them. <laughs> okay, you can, I guess that's like if he wants to go in a cave and light his torch or I'm not sure. I think it's more like what they use to bang on their drums with, though. And then let's try the bow and arrow here. He's not going to be able to do too much with it because of his little arms. Alright, that's about as good as you can do without just looking t totally deformed because his arms are kind of short. I'd like to stretch this arm out a little straighter like he's aiming, but I guess you could do it that way. Turn his head a little bit. But like I said, the arrow doesn't, it needs to be longer. I guess it's just for looks, but it don't even look right when you have him in a posed position like that. He can't pull it back far enough. So that's about as far as you can do it and make it look like anything accurate. Might need his hand on the bottom actually. Just oh. there. That's about as good as you can do without with that arrow being so short. And with his arms being so short, it's hard to, and him being so short, it's hard to not block his face when you're posing it that way <clears throat> like you could with a regular size figure because regular size figure you could have the arrow down more like he's down below his head but this one that's just how it's going to be if you have him with a arrow i wouldn't mind if they came out with some ewok multi-packs even if it's almost the same ewok you could just have them in different poses and stuff they could just change the hoods out almost and and let them come with a bunch of different weapons, and then they could all be doing something different, like if they were in a battle scene or something. Have one with his arrow, one with the club, one with the spear, and they could all be doing different stuff. So you could about have the same Ewok with just different hoods, maybe color them differently or something. But, but I'm happy with it. I wouldn't mind having more Ewoks. It's just hard to frame his face with that bow and arrow I like the like I said if it was a generic Ewok in the background it'd look good I just don't want to cover up my Wicket's face with an arrow which a bow which he didn't even have in the movie so I probably won't be using that one unless I use it with another Ewok or something I might try to 3D print some Ewoks and use some of these other weapons or something I gotta learn how to use my 3D printer I hadn't even done it yet I got it but I hadn't used it I've had it for about four months. So <laughs> One day soon, I'm going to do some 3D printing. I'm looking forward to doing it. I just, I guess, I'm intimidated by it a little bit. It's all new technology and everything, so I'm just afraid I'm going to make a mess or something. I guess, but I'm sure it won't be as bad. And once I get doing it, I'll be like, oh man, why wasn't I doing this all along? But I'm definitely going to be printing a lot of Star Wars uh, crates and. Just things that would be in dioramas, little background scenery type pieces. And I want to do some uh, characters I hadn't done yet, especially the giant Gorax for the vintage collection size. I think that'd be cool. And uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually a fan of the Ewok movies, so... I don't know if anybody else out there is, but I I have fond memories of them. I always thought that Gorax was pretty cool. So they've never done him in any line. So I want to do one of those and pose it next to my Ewok villages when I set them up. And I just think of a kind of be a cool, unique detail in my Ewok indoor diorama if I ever get it set up. And I always try to see if I, how well I can pose them like they are in the cards. Let's do that real quick. 
I don't always, but I like to. That's part of my little hobby is to try to see the challenge of trying to pose them. <laughs> All right, I think that's about as close as we're going to get to it. I wouldn't have minded if his face sort of had some more fluffiness to it that came out of that hood. Like, see how his hair does? It kind of comes out of the hood. That's something they always do on these. The face is always just like kind of flat back in there. I wouldn't mind if they actually gave a little bit more 3D furriness that kind of popped out through that hood when you put it on. He might look a little funny when you take it off, but... Who wants to take it off? I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the posability and the the uh, sculpt and everything, though. I took a pair of gloves I had and tied them up with some bag ties to make a log. So I just wanted to recreate that scene right there. So here's another scene I set up just to give you an idea of the scale compared to the Star Wars 6 inch black series. Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can subscribe there in the lower left corner. Click on any of these other pictures up here to uh, see some more videos I've done. Uh, thanks for watching.